Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I have had quite the morning. I woke up, I did morning pages, I went on a walk, I worked out, cleaned my pool, I've been working on some stuff, and now I'm in my office. I have a shoot this evening for our next friend of mine product that I'm really excited about. It's dropping next month, and I am like over the moon about this. So, we're doing that this evening. Um, that's why I'm in a row, but I'm not like gonna get ready until later. But I have new heights on in the background. I just think the Kelsey brothers, I love them. But Jason Kelsey is a gem. Like we don't deserve him. Also, Kylie Kelsey is really a star. I'm obsessed with her. So anyways, um, this is a big week. I'm going on a trip to Memphis with St. Jude's for Country Cares. I don't know anyone who's going on the trip at all. I don't even think I will know anyone who's there. So it's really um, out of my comfort zone. Not really, I don't know. I am kind of good with this stuff, like with new people, but I'm really excited about obviously the cause and like what the trip is about. So we're doing that. Um, and then I have a lot of stuff I need to get done in the next two days before we leave. We need to pack, we need to do some things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys are new here, subscribe. Should be a good long vlog, I'm in a great mood. I woke up today just feeling amazing. You know, just feeling really good. entire episode um i know last week's vlog sorry i was just in a weird mood and i was trying my best and i just was like just not feeling it um and i recorded a whole podcast episode um that should be up by now all about like being disappointed in your 20s and like feeling lost and not knowing what to do and like it's really real time of me feeling that so i don't feel that anymore thank god you know it's been a couple days you know your emotions are really up and down okay um but definitely go listen to that if you guys are interested we changed the podcast name to house guests on youtube you guys can watch all the podcasts on youtube we're only posting once a week to this channel so definitely subscribe to my podcast channel so you guys can watch but anyways um just getting some work done and drinking my coffee and we're just having a great day i have my cute little like friend of mine cocktail napkin. I use these as like actual normal coasters and they're just the cutest. I'm really excited. I finally got one of those like pet cameras that you can watch your pet when you're away. You can like throw treats at them. You can talk to them when you're gone. I'm very excited. So thank you to PetQ for sponsoring today's video. It matches my house perfectly, honestly. If you wanted, you could have it mounted to the wall too. I don't really feel like getting it mounted. I like being able to move it around. Like I like to have, you know, like the freedom with it. Here's the actual camera. I'll sit back so you guys can see. Okay, so here I am. Oh, hello, Fitz. Hi. You can talk to your pet. Hello, hello, hello. It'll play on, and that plays on the speaker. You can also hear your pet. When you're away, you can also record them, which is so cool. And then my favorite part, which is also Fitz's favorite part. Oh, if you couldn't tell, sorry, I have the speaker on still, would be the treat. So you can take this and dispense the treat and, oh, and it comes out. It's kind of perfect. The dogs are obsessed. Like, I just love that. The other cool thing about it is that it has like eight times zoom. So I can even see into my patio. Like the quality is amazing. It also has a night vision mode, which is so nice. The quality and affordability, honestly, is unmatched. I love this thing. It also has like pet detection. So it tells you like when your pet is on the move. But I've been wanting one of these things for so long. And I just was, I don't know. I, I felt like a lot of them were like really expensive. And I feel like for this, it's so nice. It works so so well it was so easy to set up like I am not good with technology like anything it just like stresses me out like just starting anything which is like embarrassing to admit because I am 26 but this was so easy to install and it's so easy to use and I've just been loving it it gives me more peace of mind too so anyways I have a promo code Kinsey5 um, and I will link it below I just think it's so stunning it's easy to mount it looks so beautiful you can give your pets some treats in your way talk to them hear them listen in see what they're up to so I'll link it below also this is just like the best looking one that I've seen so anyways thank you to Pet Cube Light for sponsoring today's video I'm really really excited about this okay um it is later i am going to start shooting soon it's a very chill casual home shoot i probably should have worn other jeans there's a little bit tight on me now but this is the fit i have become a bow girl i was just saying this to my tiktok vlog but i love a bow on a bun i love a bow on everything i put bows like on my wine glasses and stuff and then i don't know it's just like such a cute little girly thing to add. Imagine this with like a trench coat going somewhere. Like I love that vibe. So um, I have something in my eye and it's been really causing me a lot of pain. Gotta figure that out. But this top is just skims. 
jeans are I think these are Princess Polly actually they're not very flattering but whatever and then I'm just wearing Ugh, many is that I need to get replaced really bad. I need to find outerwear. Let's see because my vibe I'm gonna have it like I'm like leaving out the door with like a bottle of wine and the new product in my hand So I need like a coat, but I want it to be more of a trench coat and I'm like do I I have so much outerwear It's like not even funny, but I kind of feel like I don't have a trench coat. Isn't that weird? Maybe I do and I'm wrong. Ugh, guys also Justice for this puffer jacket from Hill House I got this last year a little late and I didn't get to wear it as much as I wanted. I will be living in this this year, especially with the bow. So girly, so cute. I feel like the older I get, the girlier I become. Okay, this isn't really what I'm going for, but it's cute. It's this brown leather trench coat. I used to wear it all the time. If you guys watched me last year, I'm sure you guys have seen it. I feel like this is what I'm gonna have to do just because it's the only trench, but I need a really solid trench coat. So we'll figure that out in a second. I cannot believe that we can wear sweaters now. I mean, we really can. It's like 80 Well, it's gonna be like um, high of 70 on Saturday. I know, I saw that. I'm gonna cry. Like, so um, I went to Michael's and I was like, I want to get some paints because I bought a watercolor set from TikTok shop. I, by the way, I thought I just saw it. I thought it was gonna be a joke. I thought it was gonna be like, no, it's actually so cute. No, it's not a joke. I put it in a frame. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, Macy, it's so cute. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just finished the shoot. The girls just left, it's 8.15. Um, I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I'm also so grateful my friends will do this for me because I really need them. It's basically built for the homebody, but like the homebody with friends. Like a lot of the items are around like creating community and like friends. Creating community sounds so weird and like churchy, but like just making memories. I love this stuff, you know? But Macy like actually painted this for me today. Isn't that so cute? She texted me that she made me a painting and I thought for sure it was gonna be a joke. And no, not only did she paint it, she framed it. Like how cute is that? I, um, it's, it's like off center right now because I messed it up a little bit, but it looks so cute in my office too. Like how thoughtful, she had the day off work. So she went to Michael's and she started painting things for her friends. That is so cute. This is the best part of my day. Yesterday was late day and then I went to Soul Cycle this morning. It was Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo. And my legs are so sore. My little brother asked me to take him shopping. So we're going shopping for a couple hours this morning and I have a lot to do because we leave for Memphis tomorrow. I have a whole like a Bada campaign thing to shoot today. I have to cook like a Thanksgiving meal that's like part of like the package thing. Um, and then there's a lot of like other work to do. This is my outfit, very fall ballerina. I'm gonna throw on this. I've just been having like the door, leaving the doors open, burning fall candles, and it's just been magical to say the least. So, anyways, we're off. Why do I always say that? I don't know. Guys, I have some harsh realities hitting me. It's not gonna be as cold as I thought it was gonna be in Memphis. <laughs> So I'm packing right now. I've got Coco with me. Um, there's a Halloween party, which this is just, I don't know why I feel so awkward about like dressing up when I don't know anyone. I just feel like that is awkward for some reason. You know what? I've been looking for these sunglasses. I guess it's, no, they're not even in here. Okay, I guess they're still gone. Anyways, um, so there's a casual cocktail hour, which I'm like, what is casual for cocktails? A casual cocktail like is it cocktail dressy i don't know so i'm bringing four dress options i'm not normally like this but just because it's such a sh like short trip and i honestly just don't feel like how i just don't feel like like picking out a ton of stuff right now and then i've decided i'm just gonna go as barbie to the halloween thing i got this dress from reformation that i just thought was so cute so i was gonna wear this with black tights and black kitten heels and then i'm bringing back up i have this dress alice and olivia and then I also have this dress, just like a little bit more casual 
and chill. Um, so those are my options. This morning at the mall, we were walking and I like slammed my hand into a trash can and it hurt so bad. And I have a pretty high pain tolerance too. And now it hurts when I do anything. So that's not good. Um, I'm about to have to like roast a turkey and do some things. And then I have to give it to someone because obviously I'm leaving tomorrow and I don't want to waste the food. So I'm going to have someone pick that up tonight. But um, just getting some things in order. We're also going to Graceland on Saturday. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. Um, and that's just going to be like chill and casual. I think the boots that I'm going to bring for this trip will be my um, Josie with Tacovas. I love these. I think the suede is so fun. They're really cute. And like... Now that I like can wear anything because it's fall kind of and I was so excited and looking forward to wearing this all the time I like don't know what to wear, but I think it's just because I don't feel like packing definitely overpacked and I need a new pair of Uggs like these are horrible even like my other ones that I have here are trash like these are like my snow Uggs I need a new pair I know but anyways I overpacked it is what it is you know I feel better and I feel like I'm prepared and it's gonna be okay you know it's gonna be fine looking forward to tomorrow because I land at like 3 30 and we don't have anything so tomorrow evening I'm just gonna have like a really cozy night to myself in the hotel we're staying at the peabody in memphis which is like a very historic famous hotel from what i've gathered um and a friend told me it's really cool so i'm excited to do that and now i need to make my uh, little thanksgiving meal <sighs> i've been listening to taylor swift i was on the phone with my mom for an hour and we got i just got a link for the photos from yesterday and i'm so excited to see them so i'm gonna go Honestly, I'm doing the photos first. That's what I'm gonna do. I also made a third coffee for today. Like, this is not okay. You know, it's really just not. I have this box to open. I think I know what it is. I'm not quite sure. <gasps> yes, okay, it's Whiny Baby. I've been seeing them all over Instagram and they look so cute. I'm pretty sure, I think I saw this launched in Target. Okay. First thing I have, oh, oh my God, that's cute. It's this cute little hoodie. Don't stay bottled up because they're bottled. Cute, okay. And then, oh my gosh, okay. Wow, just the actual bottle itself, they're so cute. So this is the rose, this is the white wine, and then this is the red wine. The branding is so cute. I can't wait to try these, probably. Maybe this weekend when I get back or next week. They look so cute. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. So today I leave for Memphis. Ooh, that was cold. Whoa. I'm excited. It's essentially like a solo trip. Like I'm not, I'm going with St. Jude's. I'm not saying it's like a solo trip that I'm like going on, but like I'm going by myself and I don't know anyone. So that'll be good for me. Um, I'm really honored to be invited and I'm really um, looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it for months. I've had this booked for a bit. So um, I know there's like a seminar we're doing. Um, it's like country cares, there's like a dinner. Um, there's a Halloween party, there's like a cocktail hour, we're going to Graceland. Um, I don't know exactly what we're doing. I know that we're like going to the hospitals, but I'm pretty sure protocol has changed since COVID. So I don't exactly know. I'm kind of just like showing up at this point, guys. But yeah, I'm very honored and I'm very excited to go. And hopefully I will meet and make new friends. But I'm really looking forward to tonight because I land at like 3.30 and then I'm gonna check into the hotel. And I just love a solo night in, in a hotel, like not leaving, not doing anything, ordering room service, watching movies, reading a book, like love that, you know? So that's the plan for today. I'm about to go work out and then I'm getting a blowout and then I'm gonna head over there. So 
It's gonna be perfect. Here's my airport outfit of the day. Could be better, but whatever. I ordered from First Watch this million dollar bacon. I dream about it. I'm getting picked up very soon, so I'm rushing. I made it to Memphis. Here is a little mini hotel room tour. We're staying at the Peabody. It's really, really cute. Their thing is ducks, so that's how there's ducks everywhere if you didn't know. I've already unpacked, done all the things. Everything's in here. When I'm traveling for work, I always unpack and organize. I try to do two on the like, girls trips, but when I'm not by myself, it's just not as easy. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of outfits. Also, little update. So I was going to go to Nashville this weekend because I'm already in Memphis until Saturday. And then I wasn't going. And then on the flight here, like one of my best friends, George, who's in, he's been in my Nashville vlogs before. Um, we met nine years ago now. Like we met at the Lorenzo. If you guys have lived in LA or USC, gone to USC or whatever, we met at the Lorenzo. And I dated one of his friends when I was like 17, because that's when I moved to LA. And then um, we ended up going to Bible college together, which is so random because the fact that either of us ended up there was crazy. The fact that we ended up there together is bizarre. And then now he's in Nashville. So like basically we just like, we keep having the same things kind of happen in life. So anyways, he lives there and I've just been talking about going and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. So I booked a flight. Well, I'm actually gonna drive and do a little solo road trip on Saturday, it's only three hours. And then I'm gonna fly back home Monday. So I'm excited because Nashville is like my favorite place ever and I'm excited to just like hang out and chill and have like a really good weekend. So gonna order some dinner. I'm gonna get some work done and maybe take a nice bath and relax. Like I'm just gonna chill. Room service has arrived. I ordered pasta. Wow, it looks incredible. And then I also got tiramisu. I love tiramisu, used to hate it. Oh my God, wait. <gasps> That's actually really crazy to me. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm gonna have a chill night in the hotel for the rest of the night. Okay, my gosh, sorry. Good morning, guys. I was on Facebook with my sister. Just now, why am I out of breath? Oh my God. Oh my God, hold on. All right, so today we're meeting in the lobby at 11 and I'm pretty sure today is the day that we're going to do the hospital tours at St. Jude's. Um, I don't know like what all of this I'm able to vlog and what I'm not able to vlog. So um, we will see. Tonight we have, we have two different things that are happening and I keep getting confused because we're wearing the shirt tomorrow and I thought we were wearing the shirt to the hospital all the time. It could be like, during the day. Um, and tonight we have like cocktails and a dinner. I think tonight is the Brothers Osborne dinner. I'm not fully sure. I will know more when I'm around people who are also on this trip. Um, well, I'm just listening to Megan Maroney. I'm getting ready. It's it's a good morning. All right, y'all. Here is my outfit. I realized that I actually only brought two tops, like two casual shirts. So I'm either going to wash them when I get to Nashville or I honestly like don't know. Well, I guess I have another shirt to wear tomorrow. So I guess it's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm going to be okay. Anyways, this is my outfit. My pants are Aritzia. My top is... Skims, this is Madewell, which is a sweater thing. God, I brought one. It's gonna be a high of 75 here today, but I'm assuming it's gonna be cold where we go. And then I have belly thoughts from Sam Edelman and my bag. Here we go. I'm heading off downstairs for registration and then I need to get breakfast. I meant to order breakfast and then I just had a bunch of stuff going on. So I've gotta get something probably, but we have um, the tour and a lunch today. That's what we have. I finally got the answers. Okay, it is much later tonight. Here is my outfit for cocktails. This is basically a direct copy of Marissa's outfit when we were in Paris for New Year's Eve. This dress is Reformation. I just got it and I will say like, it needs to be a little bit shorter, and I don't love how low it goes, even though I know that's just it. Like, I don't really have another option because I didn't try it all before I got here. I do think it's cute. I just think it was pricey. I don't know. It's kind of stunning. It's like a really good bridal dress. I can't decide how I feel about it, actually. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, eh. No, I think I do like it. I wish it was a little bit shorter. And then I'm wearing these black tights, these black heels. I love a white dress, black tights, black heels, as Marissa did on New Year's Eve. 
Anyways, um, let me set y'all up somewhere. Okay, so I'm about to head off to cocktail hour. Um, but this has been like a very life-changing trip already. St. Jude's is so amazing. Like obviously you hear about St. Jude's a lot and you're like, you know, no pay family pays. You see all the like commercials and stuff. But to be like at the hospital and like with the teams and just hearing more about it and how much of a difference like has been made when they started the child leukemia like cure percentage was four that doesn't make sense but you guys know what, I know what i'm saying um was four percent and now it's like 94 percent or something crazy um and they just made such like active strides they also have like a research center there which we got to go see i didn't vlog just because i was like really listening and i just like kind of felt weird pulling out a camera i got some stuff for, like instagram stories because the point of us being here is to like share with y'all but i just knew i would talk to you guys um and like i want to be involved for like the rest of my life like it's this looks like i'm not wearing clothes okay it's just been so incredible to see everyone so this is country cares so there's a lot of radio and country and they recently brought in um a lot or they're recently bringing in influencers i think as of last year um there's a lot of country artists a lot of people who are in like syndications a lot of people who are just like in the behind the scenes like just radio in general um because there's a big partnership and it's just really i don't know it's really amazing if you guys are looking for anything to donate to i'll have a link below for St. Jude's. Even our um, tour guide today, she was a survivor and she was telling us about her experience as a kid. And I believe she was 13. She came from Venezuela. Um, and in Venezuela, Venezuela, they told her that she had a week left, told her parents she had a week left and that she was like a, dead case, a death case. And then she came here and now it's 23 years later, I think she said. She's married, she's happy, she's healthy. like. I don't know, it's just like really amazing what they've been able to do. And it also just makes you like zoom out of like any of your life problems and be like, I cannot believe that that was even like ever, you know, like, I don't know. It just makes you realize that like things just like don't matter, you know? This has been a really rough week actually, just in the world. And um, yeah, I'm just really grateful that they invited me and to be here. Um, so tonight we have a cocktail hour and a dinner. Brothers Osborne's playing at some point. I don't know if that's tonight or tomorrow because I have a Halloween party tomorrow. But yeah, I've made some friends. It's been good. I like pushing myself like outside of the cause, but like just go on things by myself um, or go to things by myself because it makes you like, you have to be like social and outgoing. I am like a naturally very outgoing person. I feel like that it comes across in my YouTube videos. But since moving back to Texas or maybe COVID, I just am like less outgoing or... I just like try less. I don't know. I think it's a combination of like the pandemic and then also like I spend most of my time with like my closest friends in the world. And, like I don't have to try to do that stuff. You know what I mean? So I and I'm no longer like going to events 24 seven. And when I do go to events, I pretty much know everyone in Dallas that's going to the events. So I like um, putting myself in these positions where I have to like really just like, you know, like make myself outgoing and stuff. But anyways, very sad day. I cried multiple times. Um, and then tomorrow we have more stuff. I think we're actually meeting some patients tomorrow. Sorry, I ran out of storage. It's an honor to be here. Um, and I'm very grateful. And I definitely want to get like more involved. I want to come here every single year because it's just so important and just amazing. So anyways, I need to go because it's six and that is when drinks start. Good morning again from the same spot. I look kind of crazy. Um, wearing our The Shirt Saves Lives shirt today. And I'm getting ready so fast. I have actually made quite a few friends. And I thought everyone was doing breakfast later because some people aren't going to the breakfast session. Um, I definitely want to go to the breakfast session. So I'm rushing because I'm going to meet them for breakfast before the session. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, so grateful for this trip and I'm also like outside of actually why the trip matters I'm proud um, That I like put myself out there. I like went to something sometimes like I don't know Like imagine just like going on a trip where you know no one and, like sometimes it's just like intimidating You know what I mean? Like I'm sure you guys have that stuff at like like work events and you know what I mean? Like I don't know side note uh, Fourth Wings like its sequel comes out next month. I'm so excited I've been in such a reading girl, honestly, for like months. Like, since I went through like Rebecca Yarrow's kick, it just like has, I don't know, I just haven't found anything that I like as much, and that's been hard. So, 
I need help. I just feel like I'm not in the mood to read a lot of the books that I want to read. And I feel like we haven't had new releases in a while, too. So, like, anything that people would recommend, I feel like I've read at this point because I just love reading. Which blush? I'm going to do this one. Um, yeah. But tomorrow, um, so today it's just a bunch of sessions, breakfast. Uh, we're meeting patients this afternoon, and then we have a Halloween costume. Last night, um, we had dinner, and then Brothers Osborne played, and they brought some songwriters up, and it was the guy who wrote You're Gonna Miss This, which is, like, one of my favorite... That's honestly probably one of my first country songs that I loved. Like, I always just remember, obviously, growing up in Texas, like, country's always around, and um, I got, like, way more into it, I would say, in high school, but it was always just a thing. Like, it's always, like, a part of, you know, whatever. But you're going to miss this. I just remember so vividly, like, driving around when I was in, like, elementary school, middle school, and hearing the song. And, like, I was the kid who wanted to grow up so fast. And I was like, maybe I will miss this, you know? I do. So, that's good. Um, and what else? Um, there's, like, another huge song. Why am I blanking? I don't know. It's, like, so early right now. Let me see. I put it on my Instagram story. I just want to tell you guys. Staring at the window. It's inside. Should have seen it in color. Oh, in color, Jamie Johnson. Duh. Anyways, crazy. Um, and just like the stories. I don't know. Like, I love, like, a round sort of vibe, like a writer's round vibe. And I love hearing the stories behind it. And I just, I love country music. I feel like we talked about that so often i feel like it's like a part of like who i am at this point like i'm very very i don't know i just i love it um oh my god sorry guys i'm like trying to multitask right now i just feel bad because i haven't really vlogged that much but like i don't know these people and i just feel like i'll try to get some clips today um i just feel like uh, I don't know. We're supposed to get content. I'm getting content for socials and stuff, but like I just it feels weird to pull out like a vlog camera and be like, hi guy, you know what I mean? I don't know. So I'll get some clips behind the scenes and I definitely inserted some of like the iPhone ones from last night anyways. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Okay, I'm rushing out to meet my new friends, but here's my outfit. The belt is Amazon. I need to know where are the best belt companies. Like, where do you get them from? I've gotten so into belts, but belt buckles, all the things. Um, my shirt, obviously St. Jude's, and then or St. Jude, and then my sweater is the same one from yesterday. It's made well. Jeans are Abercrombie. They are already stretched out, and I only have two jeans through this whole trip, so that's great. I'll just do something at Georgia's. And then my boots are Jacoba. These are some of my favorite Jacoba's boots. So I'm off to breakfast with my friends. Bye! I'm so scared. Is that green? Yeah, but it comes out so fast. I should have gotten a saucer. I really regret it. It like looks so much cuter than mine. This morning, I mean, I've been crying like nonstop at St. Jude and this woman came and shared her story about losing her 18 year old son and he had cancer four times and how like just incredible person. I like just told this on the podcast and like, I don't even like, I, we were all, there was not a single person. I think there's like 500 of us here that was not crying. It was just like the most, I, I don't even know. I don't have the words for it. Sometimes it's hard to like talk about this stuff because I was saying this as well on the podcast, like words don't like do anything justice and then you feel dumb saying that and then you're like I don't know it was the most like beautiful story and I'm just I'm, I'm in awe of her um we have more sessions starting in about 40 minutes I just came back and I thank god I had time to record this week's episode since I extended my trip I was like oh shoot when I'm gonna record this because I was gonna record it Sunday night and I'm not gonna be home and I just did pack my stuff so just recorded a podcast episode that I'm titling Kinsey has to respect for yourself and it's about zooming out it's about taking inventory it's about you know figuring it out and I, it's funny i like start crying on the episode because i'm laughing at myself because it's just like this is just not real life like it's really just not real life and also you know when you just get yourself in a situation you're like how the hell did i get myself there to begin with like what about me 
put me in that position, you know? Um, it's a good, it's a good one. I, like, watched a couple of the clips back, and I'm, like, really into it. And I normally don't watch my clips back at all because I just, like, can't. Like, I hate even watching my social clips. I feel like I don't have great social clips, though, because I don't have, like, clickbait stuff. Like, maybe I need to start clickbaiting some stuff, you know? Like, start saying I'm going to fight you on, like, a YouTube fight or something. I don't know. I need to do something like that. So, I put my pajamas and my robe back on when I got into my room just to be cozy. I also had to DoorDash batteries. The Peabody ended up giving me batteries, so I didn't even end up needing to. But I had to order coffee because it needed to be over $20 to deliver. And this makes me feel young again. It makes me, like, I always have these on, like, a road trip for some reason. Just love them. Just love them so much. So, kind of wishing I brought something else for my Halloween costume tonight. But I think it's going to be fine. This has just been, like, really such a life-changing thing. And kind of what I was saying in the podcast episode, you guys need to go listen to that, by the way. If you guys are not subscribed to the podcast YouTube channel, please go subscribe. Let's get, like, 2,000 more subscribers in this video. But I have just been taking inventory, I think, of my life and, like, what I've been doing the past couple of months and realizing how far off that is from, like, the life that I want to live or, like, the kind of people I think that I was just surrounding. Not people, but, like, I want to live a life that, like, means something and that is a value and that is making a difference and that is, like, of love and I want to surround myself with people that are doing the same and I really want to be around, like, strong energies and, like, sh people of strength and like of emotional intelligence and all those things and I want to be more like that like I want to learn from them um so I've just been like thinking a lot like not at all about my friends my friends are amazing obviously like I would die for them and they're all amazing and perfect but more so just like who I choose to like date and like talk to and I don't know I, I just feel like I feel like I've definitely started making better decisions in the past couple of years I think I just gotten fooled is really what it is it's not that I and like sometimes it's fine things just like don't work out and it's they're great and like whatever um but i'm just taking a long hard look at myself hence the episode title being kinsey have some respect for yourself hope you guys enjoy that one i really do <laughs> y'all it is much later um tonight is the halloween party and i'm going as barbie i'm wearing this coat because it's on the rooftop and it's gonna be cold which honestly makes me feel so much better about the outfit anyways but I have this dress on that is from, I honestly can't remember, and I don't love it. Something about it being puffy just makes me, like, not feel amazing about it. Um, I wore it, actually, to the Barbie pop-up. It's cute. I'll link it. I'll find it. I'm just totally forgetting where it's from. This jacket that I just rediscovered that I loved last year and I wore literally 24-7, the trench coat. Um, Princess Polly, it's, like, I got a bigger size, and part of me is, like, it's too big, but I don't care. Then I have these pink heels on, and then I am actually wearing this pink St. Laurent bag that I got when I was in London and I left and you guys know that. The girls and I are actually talking about doing another Europe trip, hopefully in the next couple of months. Um, this time we would add my friend Liz, who hasn't been in a vlog yet, but I'm like literally, on the I talk to her 24 seven. She's like quickly become one of my best friends. Love her so much. So anyways, I'm about to go um, meet my new friends for a drink at this Halloween party. I just checked in for my little solo road trip that'll be so therapeutic tomorrow. We're, we're, we're figuring some things out, you know? Um, and I'm off to Nashville tomorrow after we go to Graceland in the morning. My camera's dying, so I gotta go, bye. I've decided this is what I'm doing for every Halloween thing this year. I'm not even gonna be home for Halloween weekend. You know what I would love? I would love to be at the point in my life where there's no longer Halloween weekend. Like, I wanna be, I want stability. So anyways, I'm wearing this Barbie outfit. I just packed all pink things. This dress, I don't remember where it's from. I'll link it in the vlog. My pink heels, Sam Adam that I love these. And then my infamous pink bag that I left in London. If you know, you know. It's on a rooftop though. So I'm wearing this coat. And that is the look. <laughs> I'm leaving this morning. My Uber is actually almost here because I have to go to the airport. I just put dry shampoo in my hair. I'm letting it like sit, but I have to go to the airport um, in like 15 minutes, less than that, because I'm picking up my rental car um, and then I'm driving to Nashville. Well, I'm driving to Graceland and we're doing our tour first and then I'm driving to Nashville. The last night was fun. Um, we went to the Halloween party and then we were gonna go out and we went and the place wasn't open so we we're like oh whatever so then I got drinks with John and Zachariah and then come to find out 
it opened later and then everyone went and at that point we were like no i'm really tired the walls of this hotel are like paper paper thin like no one has been staying in that room all week until last night and it's like i fully hear, like, think i'm probably fully hear what i'm saying right now like wild and i was so tired last night and then my friends called me and like some crazy stuff is happening at home right now so then i was like wired because i just was in shock like it's wild so anyways i'm having my soul searching solo road trip today hopefully i'll find something you know something and we're gonna finish getting ready i'm really excited to go to graceland i've always really wanted to go and zachariah and jonathan last night were telling me like all of the like random stuff that we're able to do so but anyways i'm very excited good morning we're back i'm wearing this like bodysuit that i got from like i forget the name but it's kind of going a little too low. I never wear it, even though it's like a cute top. This is my outfit. I'm about to go leave, pick out my rental car at the airport. Oh, I already told you guys this. What am I saying? I just need to show you my outfit. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Here we are. I have my little Starbucks drinks, and my Uber is, I think, here, so I scheduled it. So, I have to make sure I have everything, and then we're off. Alright guys, we are in the last 15 minutes of my road trip and I wanted this solo road trip to be monumental. I wanted it to, you know, give me some realizations, make me think, make me grow as a person. Instead, I spent them on the phone gossiping with my friends. So it wasn't necessarily the soul searching road trip that I was looking for, um, but it made the trip go by very quickly, okay? Like I cannot believe that I was just in the car for like three and a half hours. So anyways, I am arriving in Asheville and I'm gonna have a nice little short weekend here and then I'm home on Monday and I'll talk to you guys then. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, I just wanna say, I'll be talking about St. Jude probably forever. It was the most life-changing trip. If you're ever looking to donate anywhere, get involved at all with anything, St. Jude is it. And they're making differences all around the world as much as at St. Jude. Um, and it was just like, I'm just so honored to be there. I know I've talked about it a lot, so I will let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, um, but I can do a whole other thing on St. Jude. Like, whatever you guys want to know, let me know. We'll make it happen. This is a little Sunday evening um, episode, if you will. I don't know why I had to think about the word evening, you know, because it's Sunday. Okay, that's what it is. I've had quite the week. And I won't say for the best, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it was a good week because honestly, it really just wasn't. 